Hey guys, and welcome to Quality Shot. Right, we're going to go over the Paris Masters, the first results. You can see there's still some matches going on. There's two matches still going on, actually. Uh, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the matches that happened today and also then look towards tomorrow as well. On top of that, of course, this is the last Masters of the year. So Paris Masters indoors as well, indoor hard courts. So very unique atmosphere. And it's really cool to see, to be honest with you. It's very unique uh, being indoors and uh, being the last uh, tournament of the year. We had some big names. Djokovic's return. Medvedev's playing. Murray's there, uh, which we'll go into in a bit. And uh, just in general, it's been a very, very uh, interesting start to this tournament. So let's get straight into it. Uh, before we do as well, please do make sure that you like the video, read us up as out a great deal, and do subscribe to the channel as well for more videos like this. Thank you very much. Right, let's get through this. So uh, as you can see, Benoit Pen and uh, PCB are currently battling out, still on serve there. PCB, you'd imagine the favorite there. Uh, but let's see, Benoit Pen has been in some good form, so you never know. Um, Musetti actually looks like he's just one point away he's got two match points at 5-4 there against Dare. so it looks like he's going to do the job i'm sure as we go through this video he'll probably wrap it up and of course the big man andy murray three-time grand slam champion and former world number one playing as kept i was watching this and kept played pretty well in the first set murray pretty out of sorts he was meant to face brooksby brooksby ended up pulling out so he actually got an easier draw in kept didn't manage to capitalize on it which is disappointing considering his very uh, good recent form to be honest with you and yeah hasn't quite been able to capitalize on chances and this was another lost chance losing in a de in a deciding tiebreaker um, after being two breaks of serve down if I'm not mistaken in that second set came back to win it 7-5 but didn't manage to get over the line Gaston did really well again he was a breakdown I think it was in the second set against uh, Ridenek managed to uh, win that in three sets so good uh, win for him and he's someone similar to someone like a Karatsev who's come through the challenger tour and is making his way to the ranks uh, Manorino versus ba uh, Basilishvili obviously Basilishvili was a finalist in Indian Wells so that's a very good win for Manorino Ma uh, we know that uh, Basilishvili can blow hot and cold so um, not a huge surprise to see him go out um, what's a bit more of a surprise although it's a tough matchup um, is Bublik beating Dan Evans in three sets. I think Dan Evans will be disappointed considering to that first set and then two uh, very close sets, losing and conceding the match 2-6, uh, 7-5, seven, five, seven, five. So, yeah, a bit of a bitter pill to swallow, I'm sure, for him. Cam Norrie doing Cam Norrie things, uh, coming through in straight sets against uh, the number 40 in the world, Del Bodis Argentinian, 6-2, six, 6-1, six, and Karatsev. I mean, this was an absolutely cracking match. Karatsev versus Korda. Uh, Korda beating Karatsev, 6-2, six, 6-7, six, seven, seven, six. What a match. Um, the first set, Korda played a pretty good level. Karatsev's level wasn't super high. Second set, uh, Karatsev then started to raise his level, uh, I'll tell you what, there were some incredible rallies uh, in this and well worth watching the highlights. I genuinely mean it. it was so good to watch. Korda, of course, one of the bright young stars uh, coming through the ranks. And Karatsev, uh, what a story for him, making his first ever Grand Slam at the Australian Open uh, this year and making the semi-finals, of course. And you know what? He is a force to be reckoned with, but Korda is as well and came through that Final set tiebreaker 7 5. Ivashka came through uh, Ramos Vinanas uh, in straight sets, and so did Leovic against McDonald. Good win for him. And Fuksovic against Fognini. Good win for Fuksovic coming through in, in straight sets again in a deciding tiebreaker. Musetti actually not managing to do the job yet. So we'll get on to that in a second uh, whilst we go through uh, the next day's play. Musetti uh, in a tiebreaker, sorry, in a juice game there on his serve. Still expecting to get it done, but you never know. Nerves can get the better of you. Um, <laughs> Duckworth versus RBA. I mean, RBA for me uh, should be too strong. FA versus uh, Major, um, Major, I think it is. Uh, FA should again be too strong, although we've seen him uh, unfortunately get upset at times. And when I say upset, I mean uh, lose in causes when he shouldn't. He's a young player, but let's see how he does. Uh, against uh, the Italian should have too much firepower, uh, but it depends on how he is on the day, honestly. 
Uh, Tommy Paul versus Yen Lad Struff. That's a really, really good matchup. Let's see uh, how that one goes. Struff in good form and good to see because he went through a bit of a barren run uh, previously uh, before that little run uh, at the Vienna Open, I think it was last week. Krajanovic versus Apelka. You'd expect Apelka, especially on these courts, they don't seem to be super slow. So he should have some perch on his serve um, as well. And he's, his forehand is not a bad weapon. Hatchinov, Ima, that should be a really good match. Uh, I think that will be a very close one. You'd back Hatchinov, but Ima is a tricky customer as well. Very, very solid. Uh, Abur versus Alcaraz, you should see Alcaraz coming through that, but you never know. Dimitrov, Gasquet, the style of the two, a eh? Two one-handers. I mean, Dimitrov should have too much for Gasquet, but Gasquet can have one of those days where he just hits winners left, right, and center, and then he is a force to be reckoned so who knows? Uh, Milman, Schwartzman, Schwartzman for me. So Nago versus Fritz. That's a really good match, but Fritz has been in some phenomenal form, but we're now back in the European uh, circuit. So Sonego might take a little bit from that, be a bit more familiar. But in saying that, I think Fritz, if he carries on that form that we saw um, at Indian Wells and other tournaments, he should win this one. Uh, Chilich ADF. Chilich has been in some good form as well. I'm going to back Chilich. Uh, Ketchmanovic against Monfils. Monfils should come through. Uh, Harris and Dimo. No, I'm actually going to go Lloyd Harris. I think he's been in some really, really good form uh, this year. He's been really impressive. And actually, it's been the opposite for Alex Dimonov, for me personally, I think he's a talented player, uh, but he hasn't quite done as well as I would have expected. TFO versus Giron. TFO should come through that, and obviously he had a fantastic week last week, making the final of the Vienna Open and losing to Zverev in the end, but has such a good run beating players like Sissipas and Sinner. So uh, the dude is on a great run. Djokovic, Fuksovic, what a matchup that will be. The Serbian playing against the uh, the Hungarian, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I've got the flag right <laughs> against Fuchs, if I haven't apologies against Fuksovic and uh, Djokovic. We'll be looking to end the year strong, of course, uh, before the World Tour Finals and Rude versus Bublik, which is a really good matchup as well. I'm going to go with Rude, but Bublik is a dangerous customer. Uh, let's see if Musetti's managed to wrap up. He has. He's wrapped it up 6-4, uh, managed to get it done um, at 5-4 and the juice game. So uh, Krinibus has actually taken... Uh, was just broken serve against uh, Benoit Pair as well, so it looks, looks like he should get the job done there. Okay, that's all for me um, from the Paris Masters. I'm going to try and do, uh, because it's the last Masters of the year, I'm going to try and do day by day, like I've just done, uh, roundups. And also we will be covering uh, the World Tour Finals. I'll try and do some watch longs for the Paris Masters if I can. I can't guarantee it. World Tour Finals, we definitely will be. So do keep an eye out. And uh, of course, if you haven't already, do check out our interview with WTA player Jamie Loeb, who recently played in the US Open. A really insightful interview, and we will be trying to get more players on. So keep your eyes peeled. If, if you know, who knows? Who knows? Maybe one day we'll have Nadal, Djokovic, and Fedron. Quite a dream, eh? Right. Thanks very much, guys. Stay safe and well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.